I am Sticks and Dreams, and so I am doing actually a little sketch here, and I just want to explain it, um, of a little bit, like a little cheapy kind of character, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> it's my own little doodle, this is like my first time making an art video, so I wanted to kind of like show what I'm doing and then explain it, so, um, I am making the hair and it's just a bunch of like little curves and stuff, so I'm sketching it out with a paper mate. Uh, pencil. I believe it is a paper mate. Uh, clear point. It's zero point seven, is what it says on the pen. Uh, but it is a mechanical pencil. And then, um, actually, I'm gonna list everything below what I used, so everybody knows. And then I just I drew her eyes all big and her thighs all thigh like. I don't know. I just little character. I do not draw hands or feet very well, so the hands are kind of like little nubs that I draw, and that's why I mostly do chibi characters because I am learning. <laughs> so, um, her little arms are like, eh, I don't know how to explain them. They're little things, majigs, majiga things. <laughs> And then I kind of made the the clothing all like flowy and stuff and like to show like wrinkles to give it a little bit more like realistic type of I guess um type of wear I guess cuz I don't know how to explain it like just so that you can tell that it's hey that's a t-shirt and those are jeans by like how the uh material flows I guess and then I'm using a sharpie here to outline the whole the whole thing and then I am going to just go over and then I'm gonna erase everything so and then I actually got the idea to do these videos from some people who follow me on Instagram who have suggested that I do some videos so that's why I decided to do these and my friend uh, his name is Master Ninja. He does a lot of live streaming and he has suggested that I do this and I just I got enough suggestions and I've wanted to do these for a long time but I've never really had like the space I guess so I just kind of made space like the way that my camera is set up is kind of funky. And now right here I'm just actually erasing the pencil lines that's inside this. It's not like a huge deal. Um, just you know getting all the pencil line out that does kind of fade the sharpie that's why I end up like going back over it because the sharpie is pretty like uh well the kind of paper I'm using is mixed media so the way that like the the eraser just lifts a bit of the sharpie off of the off the page so um and then here I am using Copics and the colors that I ended up using are actually um there I'm using my blush R20 uh, for my Copic and then a C1 cool gray number one and then I ended up getting a YR00 powder pink um, and those ones I actually just end up using as excuse me highlights um, and um, so I do I do end up just like using them inside and then the kind of watercolors I have are koi and then I just have some generic brushes that I got from like Walmart and the tray I actually got for my birthday, which was pretty recent, so um, that's where I got my uh, watercoloring tray. Um, and then I'm just coloring it in with this like burgundy color. I think I used purple, um, brown, and a little bit of black to make this color. So it's just like a dark, dark like burgundy maroony color. I don't really know how to describe it. I just mixed a bunch of colors together and got that. And then um, I am actually using this like pale pinkish uh, like peach color to make the skin and then I'm just going ahead and using a lot of water and diluting it so that it's a fairly light color and then just all over her face neck hands and feet because why not And then I am actually adding some highlights just a little bit around like her arms and stuff just making the color a little bit thicker um, as it go and oh I do want to forewarn you that I did not know that my camera cut off at 20 minutes so you don't get to see me finishing it but um, I do end up using a um, 
uniball signo jelly or not jelly roll but um ballpoint pen and it's just a white pen that I use to put in the little badoops in her hair and then I oh I got that purple by mixing uh, a more dark blue and a little bit of red um, and a little bit of white so I use that purple color in her hair and then like I said I just I kind of just put it all over I mean it's not really like thick or anything I just kind of go all over I really like the like washed out look that I get when I use watercolor on characters so that's why I'm doing it that way and then um, I'm just like I said going down into the hair all over the hair and trying to stay in the lines is really hard but I do have that little tiny brush I don't remember what it's called but I do have that brush and it is kind of like easier to use but at the same time it's still really hard to stay like in the lines and not get it all over my sharpie though sharpies I believe are waterproof sometimes with certain papers they do bleed so or if you put on too much water they'll bleed so uh, that'll that can happen um, and then I'm using the the dark blue to kind of mix some of the paint and I'm getting like this I got this light blue at first and like I didn't really like the color but I think the second color that I got on there was worse like I didn't like how dark it was so I ended up just going back over it with a little bit of water and trying to thin it out a little bit which I think worked out okay but um, it it didn't come out as as good as I wanted it to like as dark uh, I wanted more of a tone between the two colors um, and then I was just giving it a general like wash because I didn't like the way that it came out on the pants and then I was just giving it uh, a little bit of highlights um, here and then I am see this is the dark color it's just too dark I felt like uh, it wasn't really even a highlight and it stood out way too much so um, I go back and I take in some water and just thin it out a little bit and kind of make it a little more even and it kind of makes the highlights look better too because then you can see oh hey this you know the pants are more than just these little splotches all over the place so um, and then I am mixing some paint off to the side. I don't know what I'm mixing. I don't remember. Oh, gray. Okay, so I'm mixing the gray, and then I'm going to use that for the eyes and the mouth, and then some of the highlights as well. Um, and I think the color started out a little too light, and so that was one of the reasons why I went back in there with uh, the Copic. Um, so I just, I gave it the highlight. So I, I forgot to put a tongue in there, and I was going to put a tongue in there, but I decided to just make it like a little ghost almost. So she's kind of just like a little ghost inside of a body. She's like a little hollow, I guess is the best way to put it. And so she ends up, um, oh, I put some details in her hair, just like a little bit of like flicking to get some of those lines in there to just give off the idea. Oh, hey, oh, that's hair. Oh, and I, I forgot that I did take a purple pen. I went back in and took a purple, purple Copic, which is a V25 pale blackberry. And I just ran that along the sides to show that it um, did have uh, highlights and stuff. So, and like shadowing and all that. So that's that's what that was to just show, hey, this is here. And then I used the gray over the top of the eyes, like I said. It just gave it a little bit of a darker kind of like tone to it. And then I used it to highlight a little bit. And I'm sorry if my hand is in the way. Did not realize my hand was in the way when I was recording, so but I was trying really hard not to put my hand in the way because I've never recorded myself doing this before, so it was a learning process, I guess. Um, anyway, so I'm just do doing highlights because, or not highlights, shadows because obviously, like your hair is going to leave a little bit of shadow on the face, and then the way that the clothes moves, there's clothing moves, there's like shadows alongside of it and stuff. So and then just like adding. A little blush mark I guess because why not I got thought it was cute and so I did that and then um, oh, I also like to add little freckles in their little blushes so that's what that is I just put little dots little tiny like you can barely even see them and then this is just like a slight highlight of the skin you can barely even tell it's there it's just like to add a little bit of color around the face oh I don't know what these things are I just badoop these things <laughs> I I really like to uh, Badoop. Okay, so off screen after this, I ended up adding highlights, and so that's why I do like a little pan shot of like what's going on. So this is the final product. Sorry that the camera's so shaky, 
but um, I did use my Uniball uh, to make that happen. And anyway, thank you for watching my video. If you guys want to, you can like and subscribe. Um, I will be putting out more videos. I will probably do it once a week, if not more. And then feel free to check out the description for my social media and all that. Have a good day.